oh, oh, what have we here? Aha. So this is one of your more business wear, grandma designs. I kind of went with a fall theme. So I wore some brown and then a plaid design that has some greens and some browns in it because I thought that kind of fit the design that you sketched. And I was about to say, this is a very interesting choice of fabric design. And I like it. Thank you. I actually made this out of a sand de flor skirt. So I've been wearing those skirts for like a year now. I've worn it to Thanksgiving, Christmas. You like the skirts. You've seen the skirts. And this is one of their older ones. It's one of the first ones they sent me. And I really, really liked it. And I decided I'm going to try repurposing it and upcycling the fabric. The fabric is really nice, heavy it's duty very material. Lovely. Oh, yes, indeed. <laughs> and I like the fact that you find a way to do a double type of piecing and it all looks like one garment. And that's, that's quite interesting. Yeah, so it is a little bit on a diagonal. If you notice, that's because the skirt, <laughs> I was using a skirt. Well, it, so it's a little bit on a diagonal. But I think that kind of plays into it. it. Adds, I tried to... It adds kind of an interesting effect to the uh, design of the fabric. I tried to line up this little line here with kind of where it came up. But it is a separate skirt and top. So you could wear this separately if you wanted to. As right. for the neckline, I did change up a little bit. It looked like you had multiple layers going up because I was limited on what kind of fabric I had. I just sort of had one piece of fabric and actually you can stuff things in here. So it's kind of a secret pocket. And then I have this just coming down the back. It kind of goes over your shoulder. It, it, it's a, it, it's add, it adds a bit of sophistication to the part of the garment. Yes. Uh -huh. Now I did make a bow, which is sitting behind you because I had some extra fabric and I hate wasting fabric. So I did make a bow for the hair. I thought I was gonna put it up in like the ponytail because the girl in the sketch, she has very short hair. So I knew I was gonna wear my hair up, but then it, I just kind of look like a mouse, but not in a really cheap <laughs> way. <laughs> it doesn't really match the, the sort of the work wear. In, it, in, the, in other words, it doesn't go quite with the way the garment is presented. Yeah, so I decided not to wear that, but then you brought up a really good idea that I could put this onto a purse, perhaps if I had a handbag or a purse that and I was carrying. It's a lovely, this. you know, addition as you go wherever you're going in in the outfit. Yeah. So I thought that was a really good idea, and I'm going to do that, but obviously not right now. In terms of when you designed workwear, I often find myself gravitating towards those designs more in terms of what I've actually worn because I think they're more wearable as opposed to, you know, you see the ball gowns you designed and they're so beautiful. So immediately you're drawn to them, but where are you going to wear those two most of the time? Exactly. So I really appreciate that you designed a lot of work wear for women in a professional setting because I think that, I think that you can still be very feminine and very pretty, but have that for a professional setting. And I find that a lot in the vintage silhouettes. And I don't really know if I see that as much nowadays. So I really appreciate the way that you were able to bring that into your well, sketches. thank you for that. Thank you. I'm glad that it inspired you in that manner. Of course. Well, thank you so much oh, for letting dear. me get to show you this design. And I'm so happy I got to show you this and one. And thank you for doing it because it's, it's a lot of fun to see what you create. Thank you so much. <laughs>